Hello friends, I hope all is well. Uh, today I want us to quickly look at how to input missing data in the universe time series with the use of R software. The process of replacing missing values is what is normally called imputation and a package in R that is normally used to handle this problem is input TS. Um, the software employs time dependency because uh, univariate time series do not possess more than one attribute, unlike other packages that can handle situations whereby you have uh, many variables, whereby you can explore the correlation uh, among the variables in order to input missing values. But one good aspect of input TS is that it offers several utilities, particularly for univariate, equal space, numeric time series. And that is what I want us to quickly look at. In input TS, there are so many functions uh, that one can adopt in trying to input missing value for a univariate time series. Uh, you can input by linear interpolation, spline interpolation, Steinman interpolation, uh, structural model, karma smoothing, and uh, even you can even use a Rima model. You can use imputation by last observation carried forward, or last observation carried backward, and you can input with the use of very simple moving leverage weighted moving average, exponential weighted average, and you can have a mean imputation approach, median, mode, random sample, defined values. And in a situation whereby you are dealing with seasonal data, then you can actually uh, input missing value through seasonal, seasonally decomposed uh, imputation approach or seasonally splitted missing value imputation method. So I think uh, we can go through any of very good time series um, time series textbook in order to understand some of these imputation approaches uh, in terms of the theory because AI just wants to put us through the practicals. And um, another attribute of input TS is that you can actually visualize the distribution of the missing values. Uh, you can plot it uh, using line graph or using bar charts. Um, and um, after the putting the missing values, you can actually uh, plot to show the points where you have uh, the inputted values. And um, again, you can print the statistics about the missing value uh, if you want. So uh, we're going to start with um, a very simple example. Let's say we have a time series information on integer from one to 12, where we have uh, two missing values, just as we have here, x equals to ts actually stands for time series. That is the function to define time series. Then we have uh, a set of integer from 1 to 12. Um, what input ts we do, in case we want mean imputation, we just say na dot mean, then x. Here, we see the mean of the values that is from one to 12 here. Yeah, the mean is 5.9. So we can see that it has used 5.9 to replace the two missing values. And in case we want to use median, then 
we say na dot mean x option equals median the, and, and in that wise you have 5.5 5.5 which is actually the median um but another thing we can do is to actually use linear interpolation. If you want to use linear interpolation, for instance, we say na dot interpolation x. And uh, if you try to do that, then we are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, now 11, 12. Now we are going to demo demonstrate that uh, when we launch our R Studio. Um, Another good thing about input TS is that you actually have some uh, time series data to play around with. Um, we have time series of monthly airline passengers, time series of heating system supply temperature, and a time series of methane concentration in a waste water system. So, but in our illustration, we are going to make use of time series of monthly airline passengers. So this is the linear interpolation I'm talking about. If you try to do that, then you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So um, like I said, we are going to demonstrate um, how to use input TS in order to input missing data. We're going to, de to demonstrate it with the use of um, this uh, monthly data on airline passenger TS air gap. So this is the data sets. Now we can see there are quite a lot of NA. For instance, uh, the, the data runs from um, January 1949 to December 1960. So we can see, for instance, in 1949, we have Missing data in May, missing data in September. For 1950, we have missing data in September and November, and so on and so forth. So, in fact, if you try to do the summary, you will see that we have about 13 missing values. So, we can actually plot. To see the point where we have those missing values, this is uh, the function here. If you do it correctly, you will see the distribution of the missing values. All these lines represent the point where we have the uh, missing values. And um, since it's a seasonal, uh, seasonal um, uh, data, um, I advise that we use a karma smoothing approach. So if you try to do that, then we we'll generate this. Here we can see that there is no more missing. All the missing values have been replaced. And uh, we can plot it. If we plot it, we can see that this is our data, and this is the complete data laughter. Uh, in putting the missing values. If you have done it correctly, you will see all those points here where you have um, uh, different colors here. Uh, they represent the point where you have the missing values replaced by the inputted ones. We can see that this is inputted values, theory values, known values, this is the observed values here. So the moment you have your complete data sets without the missing, then you can proceed for further analysis. For instance, I may, I may be interested in making forecast, for instance, then I will need a library forecast. And the starting point is to plot the graph now uh, without any missing value. This is just what we have done here. So now we're going to illustrate what I've done very quickly uh, on our R Studio. So now we come to R Studio. The starting point is to load um, the package, which is input TS, that is library input TS. That's where I fit here. Um, 
Then the data that we're going to use is data TS uh, air gap. Uh, that is when we want to make illustration with real life data. But before we do that, now let us have these two. Let's run it. So, but before we look at real life data, I said, okay, let us just look at a typical example, very something simple, where we have integer from 1 to 12, but we have two missing values. So, we create the time series of integers from 1 to 12, that's x, this. So, let us create it, run. Yeah. So, for our mean imputation is n, and that's called mean x. Yeah, so we run it. Yeah, we have seen it. So this is what I'm saying. This is the 5.9, 5.9, which is the mean that I've replaced those missing values now. So, um, but in case we want to use median, then we have the option equals to median, which is going to give us 5.5. .5. So let's run. So this is why I'm saying this 5.5, 5.5 to replace the two missing values. So in terms of linear interpolation, I say it's NA now, that's called interpolation X, then you run it. Yeah, we can now say that for linear interpolation, we have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 12, with the missing values replaced um, by 9 and 10, which is the missing values. Um, now let us see the use of real life data. Now we are using data on um, monthly data on uh, airline passenger from 1949 to 1960, January to December. So this is the data set again. So let's look at the data to see the outlook. You run this. Um, yeah, this is the data. Let me show us here. Yeah, so this is it. This is the data set. Yeah, we can see quite some missing data. So let's get the, the summary, just a summary, the name of the data, which is TS here, gap and if you run it. Yeah, we can see the num the total number of missing values there are 13. We have 13 missing values. So you can see clearly. Um, then let us plot it, like I showed you the other time. So we have plots so this is the plot you can zoom in order to get the to get a clearer picture of yeah this is the distribution of the missing values yeah so now let us now input if you want to input we call the complete data ts air gap complete so, and we are using camera smoothing approach so actually you can use different approach I use the night interpolation, you can use Kalma, just like I've shown you the other time, and you can use the synthetic composition approach and so on. So, whichever method you, you choose, but to me, it would be very good to review some of those imputation approaches, uh, reading your time series uh, uh, analysis uh, test book. Um, so let's run this, yeah. So the moment we have run it, and then in case we want to look at the complete data, so let's, that's T, S, A, yeah, complete. So that's, that's the one we have generated. So let's run this and you will see. Now you can't see any NA again. So this is this what we are seeing. No more NA at all. All of them have been replaced. Um, yeah, so and in case you want to plot and see those points where you have uh, uh, the missing values replaced, then let's run this, that's plot any dot imputation, so you can see now. So it's quite different from the situation whereby uh, uh, vertical lines are used to indicate the point where you have missing values. So now let's zoom this so that we see clearly, yeah, the picture. Yeah, so now you have your complete data. So and let's say I want to proceed now for further analysis. You know, the starting point is to draw a very clean uh, graph. So you see my forecast package, then I auto plot. So you can see clearly now. Yeah, so 
You can see this is a very clean one now. So this is just what I want to show us today. So anytime you are working with time series data with any missing values, just go straight, make use of input TS to make sure that um, the missing values are actually inputted. But uh, my advice is that don't do it for COVID-19 data anyway, because uh, for so many of those days where you have zero or missing values, it's actually showing that there is no, um, no case or no deaths for some of those days. So it, it, it would be very dangerous to now try to input values for those days. Yeah, so thank you very much. This is just what I want to show us today. Do we mix again? Do we meet again next time? Please stay safe, stay strong, stay well. And in case it's compulsory for you to go out, kindly make use of your face mask and keep social distancing. Thank you. We shall live to enjoy the rest of our lives.